Hi guys, okay. Today we're going to try to see if we can cook in our Swedish stove and make a biscuit. So what I've done is I've taken my little Swiss stove and I've got me one of them little bitty grates like they sell at Pathfinder, I mean uh, SRO. And it's about four inches, about four or so inches across and it fits perfectly and leaves a one inch gap right there. So now I'm going to put on the lid of the stove and I'm going to pull it underneath. And I'm going to let that handle absorb extra heat and transfer up. Now we're going to set it up here on the top. And we're going to put it on just like that. With that handle up here on top. Now, I'm figuring it's going to take somewhere around 10 minutes for the internal temperature of that can to come up to baking temp. And another 10 to 15 minutes, 10 to 12 minutes for the bread to actually rise and cook. So I'm going to set my little timer right here for, say, 20 minutes, and then we're going to check it. Okay, timer. And we're going to say 20 minutes. Go. Now let's see what we get. See how I'm holding that handle up close to the bottom of that stake it'll help absorb heat and then transfer it up as a diffuser into the main body see how this is going to work well it's been about 15 minutes and I'm starting to smell bread and no, anybody who says a transgee don't put out no heat there you go so, I am not going to be dumb enough to kind of grab that thing barehanded. And in my failing light, we're going to see what we can do right quick. The first thing we're going to do, I'm going to lift that up, grab that out, come up and out and sit her flat a second. Whoop, I'm going to smell them burning. Wow! Now, oh no you don't. <laughs> I'm about to do something stupid and reach over and grab that hot tent steak. We're going to put out a fire. Put a knife blade in there and lift that off. Take that snuffer. Snuff it out. Okay, well, we burned it. 20 minutes was too long, way too long. Pull her back down, light her out. Yep. Done all the way, but overdone. So no doubt, to me that 20 minutes is way too much so let's say that let's try it again with 10 minutes and I'm gonna reset this up tomorrow and do it in daylight because I'm done out of time now and it's done getting hard to see but it did its job the bread's baked in the middle but it's overdone on the outside it's not golden brown it's a little darker than I want it but did it space it off the bottom? Not enough, it burned it. So too long. I was worried about it wouldn't transmit enough heat. It did. I think I need to put the dampener onto the stove and drop that heat down significantly to increase the cook time, but slow the heat, generate way too much heat. So when I redo this tomorrow, I'll put that on there and I will put it on for a half, uh, excuse me, I'll put it on at half power and I'll re let it run 15 minutes and I'll check it. And we're going to work up on this and figure out how long you need to leave one. But the concept is valid. It does do it. Now we just got to figure out how long to do it. Be back in a minute. We'll reset up in the morning. Okay, we have reset and it's now the next morning. 
So this time I'm going to try the experiment, but I'm going to reduce the time greatly. And I said 20 minutes before. So this time I'm going to fire it up, let it come to a balloon, and I'm going to set the uh, windscreen and then the pot on top of the Dutch oven. Inside I've already got the grate and one biscuit. And I'm going to set it for 10 minutes. We'll err on the side of being a little too undone and then work up to that time. So let's see where it is. So let me set it up right quick. Alright. Fire and hold. This time I'm putting the handle straight up. Okay, we are on time. Ten minutes, we'll be back. Okay, it's been about the right amount of time. We're going to check it and see what we've got. One biscuit, not burned on the bottom, and it is cooked, and it peels up, and it's cooked in the middle, so we did good. Okay, so you can do biscuits in the Swedish M40 stove. Now, here's what I did. I put the little grate on the inside. I did not put the handle down the second time. First time, I was a little concerned. I didn't think it would transfer heat fast enough, and it just rolled around the sides. Well, that didn't work. The handle does absorb heat and transfer it to so the bottom of that biscuit, which is burned to crisp from last night. This morning's one, I changed, and what I did was I put the handle to the top. Same exact biscuit, same, same one out of the can. Put it in there. And I put the full power flame on it, and I let that run for eight minutes. Okay? That's when I checked it. And I saw then it was about 85% done, but not quite. I put the dampener on it, and I reduced the power down by about half. And put it back on, and I let it run another couple of minutes. So this has probably got about, I would say, if you ran it full power, somewhere around 12 minutes. Okay? Somewhere between 10 and 12 minutes, you want to check it. If you want to run it on half power, I'd say do it and let it run about 15 minutes, and that should do it. And you end up with a biscuit. Let me grab a biscuit. One biscuit. It's done in the middle. All the layers are being flaky and all like that, like they're supposed to. So, yes, you can do it. You can bake one like that. Now, putting it directly on that grate, it wants to flow through and lock in, so I had to kind of wiggle it to get it out of there. Don't have to worry about it falling off. But you can make biscuits in the morning now in your Swedish oven. Now that I see it does this, then I'll take the time to make up my mix for my biscuits and then practice and see how I can make biscuits on a cold morning in camp with my little stove and not have to build a big fire. I can just make me a couple of morning biscuits this way. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. Please leave any comments down below. And as always, thank you very much for supporting my channel. Till next time, I'm Blackie wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys.